Hi guys, uh, we're in a 1999 BMW 3 Series. We're gonna show you how to take out the radio and install an iPod adapter. In this case, we're doing a Denshin uh, GW1, uh, GW1LBM1. Uh, so let me show you real quick how it works. All right, uh, first thing you do is pop out your panel trim. This thing looks like it's been wrapped, so it's probably gonna come out pretty easy. Uh, usually what you do is you go in here, and yeah, it's gonna come out really easy. All right, so you pull up, and you just, Good, well this one's not that easy, so I can actually show you. All right, so pretty much just pull up, and then, good. So, this is the way it usually, they all usually come out. Just gotta pry up, pry up and that's it. So the way it works is that this piece goes into this plastic and it expands and the plastic holds it. All right, let me go back one more actually. From brightness, I can tell you it's gonna be too dark. All right, so, this one goes into here. As you can see, this one, um, from getting taken in and out, kind of got caught in there. And then this one, actually, somebody it just got broken off. Uh, usually, that means that instead. Usually, that means instead of prying forward, people sometimes what they do is they pry upward. And when you pry upward, it snaps. Okay. All right, guys. Now that you got the uh, that piece out, this is the next piece to come. Oh well, this piece has another one like this here. So this is supposed to be in there and this comes out. But whoever, when uh customer said he bought the car wrap, so I guess whoever wrapped it just didn't know how to take the pieces out. But yeah, usually what you gotta do is you gotta come in here and you pry here and you pull, okay? All right guys, next step now is to take out the radio. If you notice here, there's two Phillips head screws, one on each side. All right, they come out counterclockwise. And also, just remember that these screws have a little pan head on them. I don't remember this. I think there's other screws on the bottom. But always separate your screws so you know what went where. In this case, I don't think it matters, but in some cases it will matter. All right, and this gets pulled out. Once you pull this out, you look over here. Let me just see if I can get a little more slack. All right, make sure there's no CDs in there because that's thing you want to do is get a CD stuck. I thought these cars came on. Yeah, because what happens if you turn the uh, CD around, you can actually get it stuck. I'll say there's two BMWs in the family. All right. Yep. All right. So that came out. See, because what happens if you press any buttons or if you bang it around, it can come off this track. Last thing you want to do is mess it up. All right. So once you do that, you come over here. This is your antenna. All right. This is your secondary antenna. All right, make sure you try to pull that straight out as possible. And then as far as this, you just pull up on here. And what this will do is as you pull up, it'll come out, okay? So that goes out like that. That's the back of the radio. All right, now push that back. Um, this, I believe, just pops right out, yep. This pops right out here. Let me make sure you guys can see. Um, nope, you can't. In one second. All right, so. So that popped right out. Now all you have to do now is you have to, these are connections over here. So this one just comes straight out. There's a side tab. All right. Push that and it comes right out. Over here the same thing. Uh, over here you're gonna push this in. This comes out like this. All right. And then down here, this one just comes straight out. Okay. So. This is the uh, older style cluster, it's a little bit bigger than newer style, it's a lot more short. Alright. Alright guys, now that we got that cluster out, next thing is to take out the one, two, three, four screws. Alright. Uh, these screws are actually shorter than the ones we took out before, so if you look over here, uh, they're going to be shorter. So make sure you keep those separate from the uh, two that hold in the radio. Sometimes you gotta help it out. It gets stuck in there. Right. Oops. Uh, 
let me go get my paddle tools and we'll show you how to pull out this thing. All right, guys, after much trial and error, I figured out how to take out this, um, um, the vents without any trouble. If you look at anywhere you read, they're gonna tell you it's almost impossible. Um, gotten to the point where I've taken out enough of these where I've looked at them carefully. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your screwdriver in here, um, and then it's gonna hit the bottom of the vents and you're just gonna pull up like that. Now, once you do that, you're gonna look over here. See where I'm at? Now, I'm looking, I could actually see the clip, okay? So I'm gonna grab my panel popper tool uh, this is tool number four. Yeah, four. I'm just gonna put wedge it in here to hold it out. All right, just make sure you're not. All right, so we're gonna put it to the right of that. All right, and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do the same thing. So push to the top till you hit the bottom. So all right, you're gonna go past here, hit the bottom, and now we're gonna. Oh, and once you do that, these two clips release right here. Okay, you're gonna see one. You can see right here, you can see one and two, all right? These are released. And once you get over here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop this up. All right, this is a metal clip. Drop that. This is gonna pull outward. And then you're gonna come over here, and then this right here is going to pull it up, all right? So what the biggest problem here is these two little clips. They're designed to, once you go in there, just lock, all right? So that's the problem we're having. All right, once you do that, you can actually just pull this right out. This comes right out. And now we're gonna uh, run the uh, the harnesses. All right, now that we got that out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here. This is the factory connector. All right, you're gonna just plug this. It's gonna go right into here. Oh, backwards. All right, you're gonna match these up. All right, and then this is gonna go into here. Usually, you see how it has a little slot right here? That little slot goes up towards where your fingers are at. And then once you squeeze these two together, you'll see it'll push in. So one, two, three, four are locked in. All right, now, um, this audio connector has to go in here. Uh, this goes behind the radio. I'm gonna put this in right here, uh, right now. So what's gonna happen is the wires, the black and white wire is gonna go towards the left of the connector or towards the center of the radio, however you wanna look at it. All right, so let's, uh, now we got that all done. And, oh, this comes with a little, let me cut this tie, I'll be right back. All right guys, so I got the uh, clip out, cut it up, uh, wasn't that big of a deal. All right, uh, before we connect everything, I'm gonna show you how to run the cables. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab this panel tool and I'm gonna pry it up here. Just move it so my big head's not in the way, you can. All right, so I'm just gonna pry right here, pull it up, and then once we get it in, I'm gonna twist it. You twist it sideways, what it does, it opens up the gap. Uh, iPod cable should go up, no problem. Whoops. All right, it's a little tight, but it keeps twisting. All right, iPod cable, you can use, it's, it's stiff enough where you can usually just push it up and find your way up. Usually, it's all right if, I'm gonna show you how to do it the other way in case you have problems. Oh, the head's right there. Oh, you know what, there it goes. It's usually a lot easier, I promise you. Usually a one, two, three thing. Oh, that's why. All right, so what I had to do is I had to twist this back because it was so going straight up, it was just hitting here. So now, once I did that, it came up right into my hands. That's what it was. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the easy way of doing it. This is a grabby tool. Uh, you can probably get these at your local hardware store. Um, we have a couple in stock, so if you want them, I just call us up, we can sell it to you. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab, well, let's do the grabby tool backwards because it doesn't really matter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it up through here. This probably is an official word for this, but I've called this a grabby tool since I started in the industry, like 15 years ago, so. Well, not 15, when I started in this industry, maybe 10, 12, 13 years ago. Uh, so we're doing the aux cable. All right, so I'm gonna grab the aux cable through here. Always leave a little slack on the end, so right to the end. All right. 
I'm gonna go right here. This comes in. All right, that goes there. Now the box is gonna go right here. iPod cable, and then the aux cable. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a, uh, well, before I grab something. This is gonna plug into here. This has a locking tab, so I'm not worried about this. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a, uh, a zip tie so I can tie around this, and I'll show you why. All right, I'm back. So what I did was I grabbed a zip tie. Um, what I do is bend it upward a little. Oh, and you do it this way. All right, so the reason I do this is so that way if someone pulls on the wire, it doesn't just come flying out. Um, see, give it a little snugness. All right, so that way if someone pulls on the wire, it'll either pull upon itself or it'll, it'll go this way, hopefully. All right, so I'm gonna cut off the excess. I'm gonna keep it in the picture. What happens is I always do the videos and then when I come back to them. Um, pull this snug, you can always push back whatever you don't use. Um, in here there's gonna be, so okay, we're not, we're gonna figure out how to plug this in first. Let's figure it out together, how about we do that? All right, so if we're gonna do this, this is gonna come out through here. This has to go under here. Alright, so this is just going to stay back here. So this we can just plug in here. This is going to go back here. This was going to drop down the side. Yep. It's nice and snug. No need to... Um, it's so snug there's no need to tape it or anything. I mean, of course, if you want to tape it, feel, go right ahead, but um, I see no reason. Um, this goes in here. So now, these two, you know what I just realized? To make your life a whole lot easier, what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna wanna cut this harness up. Just take the tape off. Uh, what that's gonna do is that's gonna separate the wiring harness from the antenna adapters, so that way they can go two different ways. Cause I was just looking at this. Sorry guys, this is like the eighth video I've done in a three series and every time I do them, I do them better and better. Because it's funny, because every time I do a video, I learn a couple things. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to use this video because next time, next car I'll do, I'll do a better video. So this video is pretty good. We'll see if it makes the cut. Um, it'll, I'll decide when I see it. All right, guys, I just did a bunch of test fitting, and I'm not even sure where I left you or what happened. So um, I cut the video, and then uh, I just... I, usually, I, I was putting the, this big box up here, but then I, when I realized that the side of the vents has a mechanism, I figured that might have not been a good idea. So, what I'm gonna do, because usually what happens, I tuck it down here, but this is an older style that has the big vent, so you can't fit it in the back with the big vent. So now I gotta figure out what to do. Um, I think I'm gonna tuck it up top. Let's see how this works. All right, so this is gonna go here. This is going to go here. I test fit the thing and it worked, looked fine, but I didn't actually close it in there, so I guess we're about to find out. All right, so we have one, two, three, four connectors. Are we good with those four visible? Yep. All right, so those are four visible. All right, then... All right, so we're good right there. Now, I'm gonna grab this big thing and bring it up top. All right, I'm gonna try to keep that there because that way it keeps it out of the way and it keeps it out of everything. Um, I'm gonna put this back in. So the way we put this back in is, yeah, do the little green loop, put, push this back in. Metal clip, make a huge mental note for the metal clip because I'd say in about a third or a quarter of the ones I've done, I've had to take it apart again because the metal clip, when I was done cleaning up, you just forget it because it looks like it fits right in there. Oh, you guys might not because I just said metal clip, metal clip, metal clip. Don't forget the metal clip. Of course, now the metal clip. See, the metal clip just doesn't want to go back into the car. It just fell. Now it's in the ashtray. 
and it's it's like the ashtray saying, "Now nah, stay with me. We're not going back." Acting like a maniac. I'm definitely not using this video. All right, so here we go. We are going to clip that in there. All right, we're good. Uh, and then, like I said, this is going to be right here. So right now, it's out of the way. So I'm gonna see if I can just push this back in, and should be able to go right back in there, no problem. Looks like it went. All right, now we're gonna put back the other screws uh, that we took out. Don't forget the short ones go into these four. One. Two. Three. So now we're going to put the climate control back in. Climate control has black connector. We down there? Yeah, we're down there. Black connector. Another black connector. And now we got the big multi pin. Big multi pin. Another thing, I usually put the cables down here. Uh, this customer didn't want to do that because the. Uh, He's never going to put his iPod cable away, so he just decided it, he wanted it there. So, you know, of course, whatever the customer wants, it's your car, you're the one that's spending time in it. If you wanted me to put it in your sun visor, we do that for you. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to leave the antennas for last. All right, put the car back in gear. So we are going, if you, actually, if you look at this, you'll see it's, there's pins there that are missing. How much of focus I can get in here. All right, so you could tell where it goes, because if you see there's no pins uh, to your left, or if you're looking at the back of the radio correctly, uh, there's no pins towards the outside of the radio pin, so that's where your audio cables are going to be, or your data, whatever you want to call them. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to plug this, these bad boys in. All right, so we're going to lift that up. It's a little tight. Well, it's not tight for regular life, it's tight for video. But it's okay, because we have that up there and there's no chance of it interfering with anything. I was a little afraid on, if I put it on the side, it would interfere with the vents, but. All right, so that's going in just like that, nice and easy. All right, and then the other white one. Make sure you keep track of it, because I just lost it. There it is. All right, so we're gonna put this in. The black wire is a loose ground. Um, if you experience engine noise, give us a call and we'll figure it, we'll help you out with that. I've never ever had to use it, but pretty much if you experience ground, I think you're supposed to ground that. But call us up before you do. We'll walk you through some other stuff. Now we're gonna plug in the one antenna and then antenna number two. All right, and we're gonna push this bad boy back in nice and smooth that's why we do it um first first one of these i did i tried to get that back in i fought with it for like good 45 minutes and eventually i did get it back in but i mean it's easier to just do all this than to wrestle with something like that you know what I mean? all right um goes right there goes right there all right, now we put back all these carbon fiber parts. All right, usually you just push in and it'll get snug. Um, you still try to do it snug. A lot of, if you, it's not uncommon to see this all uh, uh, just the way it is. It's because a lot of people take theirs out. So, all right, trying to get my head out of the way. That's the way you're supposed to knock them all in. Alright, that goes like that. Oh. Alright, and if you do have, I think BMW sells the plastic clips, uh, except for this one that was broken. The plastic clips, you can get them most and get them done. Alright, so 
that's the install. I'm gonna do the demo in a different video because you know I don't wanna have to make people wait through a half hour video to show them how it works, but Video is brought to you by nfitcarstereo.com. We sell and install. We also ship worldwide. If you're a shop, we do uh, we do the dealer accounts and we give you our tech support. So uh, give us a call. My name's Christian. Any questions, feel free to give us a call. nfitcarstereo.com. Thank you for watching.